Now, I'm going to explain the rules on how to... This is Foundry on Insanity, or Masochist Foundry, where I do a challenge with Foundry only, and... Hopefully beat the game on normal mode, seeing if it's possible to do it with only Foundry and no ability. Okay, I'm going to explain the rules for Masochist Foundry. Difficulty, it's... My rules are the things I can and can't do. The first part is can't do. I cannot use abilities, dashing, scrolls, ascensions. Red chest, merchants, cannot fire my primary gun. I cannot use grenades. I cannot. I already said no abilities, no dash, no grenades, no scrolls, no ascensions, no red chest, no merchant, no primary gunfire use. Oh, is there anything else I'm trying to think of here? Um, that's it I can think of right now. In the description is the challenges of what I can and can't do. The can'ts, if I do, if I break any of these, any of these at all, even if I'm at the final boss, he's at 1 HP, I start all over. What I can do, now the Foundry has a unique ability where it has uh okay you're deployed already cool um i can use talents i cannot control the talents on which the characters have so talents are okay buns are okay because it's healing and that gravitates towards you so you can't i can jump okay that pretty much it um i i can use the f smith i can pick up a gun but cannot fire it that is the crucial part I can pick up a gun because that's how I upgrade the foundry I can oh what was it I can jump pick up a gun use the forge I can go in the vault depending on what the vault challenge is I can exit back out of my choice I can open the chest, but I cannot pick up the scrolls or the ascensions that are in them. That is crucial. Because some money comes out of the chest, and that's how I get it. Now, I'm doing this one run. One run I can't save, do that. So, it's an endurance test. So... I would recommend using the cat or using your keybinds differently, but I'm not using the regular ones. So, doing this on normal and the flaming stuff right there is their million copies sold. So, congratulations, Gunfire Reborn, for that. Now, they have a roadmap to tell you, which means they're going to tell you some stuff. I'm excited. So, okay, enough of the cringe shit, enough of that introduction. Here we go. I got a good feeling about this. I've been trying this a lot. So, let's do this shit. Don't pick that up because it's not useful. There's... Since the Foundry only levels up with the gun. So, if you have level 0, it's going to be level 0. So, so headshots are like essential to this. Um, depending on what boss you get, you can... Do that. Uh, uh, I, can, I can. So, yes, there is. Let me set up something real quick. Hope to God. Okay, sorry for the noise. My mic is very sensitive. This is a warning to everyone that my mic is fucking sensitive as fuck. So, if you hear background noise or some shit like that, I. Do apologize in advance. Because that shit I cannot control. Twitch.tv. There we go. Let's find my main account. Because I am using the laptop to search for chat and everything. So I'm sorry I am pausing this to get that into motion. I try to stream this because I want to know what makes it tick. 
Okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. So. Yep, I'm live right now. Yeah. Here's everything. Uh, descriptions for my friends. I want you guys to follow them. They're fucking amazing. Um, once I get this challenge done, um, I will be doing more other games. So that's the key here. Um, a warning. My streams are 18 plus for a fucking reason. So if you get offended easily or you're a child or you're very virgin ear type deal, don't, don't do it. Because our my streams, I will not restrict myself because of these streams. We try to be mild with this shit, but oh hi Alucard, I do have kitty cats, so but I will not have to. You're gonna have to report my ass. Like I will not deal with that shit. So, but my streams and the YouTube videos I put up here for the twitch streams because they like to fucking delete them oh ooh, yes 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 so it's a plus one so you want one gun but back to what i was saying before um this one usually doesn't give out gold because oh look you beat five things here you go but um what i was saying it's 18 plus for a reason we say Stuff that are inappropriate, only adults will understand. We say fucked up shit. We say a lot of stuff. So if my friends are online and like playing another game in the background, I will not coerce into that. So, hi. Sorry, I'm petting my kitty cat. But now let's go back to what I'm saying. Okay, the foundry, it works with the lower levels. So the reason why. Here's the reason. Uh, you want to pick up one gun. Switch the guns out. Don't have two. You, you're just asking for a hard time. So, so if you have a plus one, it doesn't matter what gun. It, it doesn't fucking matter. So, there's um, there's a reason why that is because it picks the lowest lowest level gun. So if you have like a level five and you have like a level 15 gun it'll go with the level 5 because it's the lowest but if you have one gun it will go to that gun because it scales for that gun so that's why I have that one gun rule I have that primary gun rule pick up guns rule because if you don't the foundry just level zero I don't think it has screw it can be upgraded at all so Crit shots are important. Um, the reason why I'm using the cat, even though it's very risky, is because he has so much shield. He's got a good shield. His regen's pretty good. Um, all that. Okay, I can open the chest here. See the gold? You want the gold. What? Because sometimes you can upgrade stuff, and then sometimes if you want to get stuff like that, uh, there's a gold. Okay. Um, okay, let's see what it is. It's the, oh, it's the beetle. I really want to do this? I'll just kill a couple and then I will. Because the beetle's just a hindrance. Like, it. Hi, Alucard. You are very, very, very ready today. But. The reason why I picked the kitty cat, I don't, I don't, I don't know the name, so forgive me. I just say kitty cat. But. The reason why I pick him is because he has the most shield and decent amount of health. The dog, I wish I could pick him because his abilities require you to have two guns to even use. So, which makes it very easier, but it's more difficult because of his shield sucks. Only 55 damage, so if you're going to get bodied, yeah, that's the guy. He's got health. He's aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. Not as bad as uh, the bird, but... Oh yeah, I can use barrels. I forgot to mention that I can use barrels because they're there and sometimes you miss and hit one and then, yeah, that, that's just... So, forgot that can, so... 
but uh yeah so I am um, the reason why I'm giving this advice is because if anyone wants to try even though I don't got any viewers except for myself who's watching the chat oh or anyone wants to watch it I don't know why you want to watch it because I'm a shitty content thing but uh it's more on the fact that I just want to give advice so people don't feel like it's like oh god he's doing this he's it's possible it might be possible just getting through it is difficult with just the foundry and trying to upgrade stuff and like trying not to press it because if I press it no matter what I start all over like a new run comes and I'm on normal and because I want to see if it's possible I'm not gonna jump into elite mode and then say it's too hard so it is hard as balls I'm not gonna lie I've got the third stage only a couple times because you don't pick up anything you don't do anything pretty much and in the boss battles and everything if I will pause it and show ascensions and the scrolls will not be there Alucard you are okay stop whining so the reason why I dropped this is because there's no point in doing that and there's no point in me going to the craftsman yet because depending on who I get I can beat him with a plus two you can beat him with a plus two because it's easier and it's cheaper because he drops a plus three if you're really want to be ballsy for the second stage of the desert stage you want to you can wait till the plus four it saves you a lot more um not confident you can go with a plus five it just takes a lot longer bomber scared the shit out of me because they go boom and then more boom and then yeah not 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 the fun stuff but all right, I'll stop doing my commentary now. I'll commentary so often, but because I don't got my friends here, so I can I can't bullshit with them, which makes me sad. So because I get really fucking nervous <laughs> when I do it alone. But all right, see here, no ascensions, no scrolls. You can drop the scrolls, but you know. That's cheesing it, and sometimes the abilities go off and you hurt something. And blah, blah, blah. Um, no, that's the elite screaming, and I rather not test my luck today. But I will kill a couple of these for the money, 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 money. So funny. Yeah, if I can aim, that that's fantastic. There. We go. I got a good feeling about today though. It might be the day. It really might be the day. Okay, run away now. You know the elite shows up, uh, there's a stage where it's just you you know. You know it's that enemy. Like there's a specific stage for this. The elite beetle's always in one location. It's never unless you randomly get an elite battle, which is very unlikely. Ooh, that was past my face. I did not like that. Um, his weakness is the eye, so he's very, very boring. He's more you dodge him like a bull. If you're not careful, he can fuck you. But he's one of the easier enemy bosses. He just takes a long time. Okay, challenge event. Let's go in the vault. Ah, uh, nope. Cause this one, you will have to take damage, and I'm not risking that. Easy money, but fuck it. Nah, oh, they explode. Awesome. These guys are easy to bait. Because you just go up, get a couple seconds back off, and they'll use the shield bash attack and just repeat. If you're not careful, yeah, no. Good luck. Yeah, like that. See? That's why I lie all the barrels, because sometimes they'll kill themselves. And sometimes you want to use that to your advantage, so... Okay, and... 
You don't get the timing right, you can get smacked around, but usually the same thing, so it's not. Oh, oh god. These are the guys you gotta be worried about if you want long range pistol. Tracking! But since this is on normal, the dan their health thing. Ooh, I hit his top. Okay, hold on. Alucard! Keep me out. Cat's being super naughty today. He wants to be super naughty. Naughty kitty. Naughty, naughty kitty. So, but, well, yeah, it's probably going to be a cringe fest when I watch this again. Um, I will review the video if I do beat it. So, I will review what I did, what I didn't do, because I don't want to assume that I did it, and then at the end I dashed. So, anyhow, um,. No one in chat yet. Probably no one in. Yeah, no one's in my stream thing. So, no. so yeah. Why is this still trying to connect to? The, hey, quit that. That is not a toy. You know better. No, I don't need to update the description. Okay, okay, let's do this. So. Hello, look at this. And you're. And I missed every shot. Almost every shot. Like, okay. Let's get rid of these enemies. Get rid of you first. Yeah, if I can aim, that, that's fantastic. I have the best aim around. And. Just out of reach. Oh, fuck. There's two. Yeah, these guys are the most. Uh, I always say this. Crazy. And these grenades are fucking annoying. You already win. Ow! See? I just lock on the get with some of these enemies. It's like, that's insane. Ow, ow, ow. And steam buns are kind of your source of healing, so that's why I like it. Because it would be almost impossible not to pick one up in your low health. Like, Gravitate towards like, oh, you're like one HP missing here. Let me heal you. So, there's another game I really want to stream. It's uh, Robo Quest, which I'm really enjoying too. If you enjoy gunfire, it's very fun, very unique in a way. Like, you shoot robots, and there's difficulty spikes and everything else. There's easy, there's hero plus three, there's a lot of stuff. They're still updating stuff, just like Gunfire is. They're still updating it. They're really amazing to watch. I wish it was more recognized, but sometimes the most recognized ones are. Oh no, that's the ammo belt. That would be awesome to have. <sighs> sometimes I hate this challenge because of that. Because you get the good stuff, and then it's just like no. Oh. But I recommend RoboQuest if you really like Gunfire Reborn, and everything else so there might be rubber bands or lag spikes so I do apologize if that randomly happens Ooh. oh shit okay um this will be difficult because if you shoot the stone you don't fail the challenge it's just really more difficult to deal with Myself here trying not to piss off stone people. Stone. Go. Which if you hit one, it comes an enemy, so. Hoo -hoo. Be glad they're not like. Oh look. I mean, if you're if you had like a lot of guns and shit, yeah, that would be nice. But I'm trying not to. Don't worry about time on this challenge. Either. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm 
not gonna even bother with that. It, it's very difficult to do in that. That area is very, very tight. And I'm on stage four, so I'd rather not risk it. I'd risk it, all right, open this up. Coins, who do I get? I got the golem. Wow. Now he's pretty easy. They did nerf him a bit, so he would clap you so hard before. Um, see here, it's a plus two. I could probably beat it with a plus two. It might take a little longer, but a little funny thing. You can shoot bullets at Lu Wu, and you can see the bullets. <laughs> <laughs> it's animation, so... Okay, that's really cool. Uh, okay. Uh, laser beams, you want to dodge a boulder. You hit the center here if you cheese it a bit. See how that red glow is? You are locked on to that laser. That laser hurts. It's, it's not... Oh! Oh, yeah. Careful that attack. He'll just resummon them for you, give you laser beams. Oh god! My own thing to myself to the point where I can go summon uh, boulders pretty soon. There are some damages from the talents that I can't control either, so I want to do it at low. I, I highly recommend getting your talents high, but you can do it at low levels. It might be possible, but roughly around. There it is. He'll shoot like his fist at you after a while. He'll summon a couple more uh, boulders too. Dick. These do crumble apart if they get hit by the boulders a lot more, so I'm gonna be careful with that. Go. You can destroy these if I can find the name. Oh, you got. Because there's a couple of moments where you're just like, okay. You wanna you can oh oh god. You can get clapped very easily if you're not dead, so no matter what this is on. I don't I can't use dash or abilities, so it would make my life easier, but doing this challenge to see if it's possible. Yep, see it's shaking, but um ba dum bada bing bada boom, there's some boulder, there's like some rocks to cover. Ah fuck you and your boulder or rocks, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Alright, laser beam time. Nah. So he'll start doing There, he's just summon a couple boulders and uh um... Yay, they delayed it a lot, so I'd rather just take the tank to hit. Simultaneously, so I'm glad there's a delay. Fucking hated it when it was simultaneous, because you would have to dodge it and then try to dodge it with a couple seconds. But because I'm a scrub, I have to get to it. I'm so glad there's a delay between the two, because you, you can tank one, but you can dodge it if you're very careful. Watch out. like that. Uh, fish time! Yeah, see, he'll destroy the boulders too with the fist, so... Careful! You can see, you can shoot the center for crits, and if you're not careful, as you can see, you won't do much damage to it. But you can cheese it a little bit if you aim a little lower. Will lock on to you, oh dear god. They will melt you if you're not careful. So, that's a little advice from me to you too. I'm fighting this guy. See how you can just vaguely do it without. Oh, oh dear god. I have no cover. Shit. Oh dear god. 
That's what you have to be careful for too. Ooh, steam bombs galore here. Name out of space, which does more damage, maybe, apparently. But I'd rather go for the crits, or rather risk it, than to actually do anything, because it's a little faster. As you saw, boom, bada boom. Time it right, evade it, it'll be fine. Oh uh, look, boulder time. Like, it used to be like simultaneous, like he used to be like a pain in my butt. This is on normal, so the damage is kind of more. Knock and punch. Careful the AoE, the AoE can get you, even though sometimes you're out of it. I find very rewarding after beating them. You get a plus three weapons after beating them, so. Which is why I said if you beat them with plus two, you want, if you don't, if you get balls deep, you can go with plus five. The center thing is is weakness, so. Ascension, no Oculus Girls, because the Ascensions you cannot take off. Pocket Scrolls you can drop, all that. This is a scroll. This I can pick up. Just drop you. I get a plus three now. See how the Foundry's a plus three? Now if I pick this sucker up, he's a, it's a plus two, because its ability is basic weapons with unlimited ammo. It's a basic weapon with unlimited ammo. Level is adjusted to the lowest level of all equipped weapons. So... That helps a lot. So, now that's taken care of. Now that's taken care of. That's the goblet which gives you ascension. So, okay, off we go. Off we go. And you can rest. <sighs> Cause, yeah. So. Alrighty, on to second stage. I always get clapped here. Now this is like a big spike. These guys wear armor, so it's they don't recover. The difference between shields and armor is that shields they do not regen. If I can, if I can just like adjust these, you can attack the back part of it to get them to die like that. It's a lot easier, but riskier. Ow! What the heck? Can't make. Ooh, off. Back up. Ah, ow. Fire does hurt, especially if you don't have a shield. Lightning does. <sighs> Hurts shields more. Corrosive does more damage to. Armor, corrosive will slow you, shock will sometimes stun you. Get hit fire will continuously burn. 
scary to have corrosive with slow while you're dealing with a lot of enemies and if you're shocked it's scarier because you get stunned and if there's a group of enemies right there you're fucked now there's just be normal in elite mode elite mode you have traps and like a lot more elite squadrons elite things like immortals and like fire and corrosive and shock Shielders and healers and uh, you get my point. It, it's It's a big difficulty spike in normal to elite Because you have to beat normal to actually get elite So what Yeah, go backwards for me. No, you were supposed to keep going backwards Because when they do that they expose the right side and you want to shoot that barrel on the back of them you want you can damage them faster but they have a shield so if you ignore them for too long their shield will regen but their health won't unless there's a healing thing so the elite one terrifies me because it has corrosive and it has two snipers with it too which can bend you over so watch out this gives me some gold once the talent is up, like one gold for a crit hit, but crits are your friend because you do more damage and there's a challenge for that. So the head is usually the crit. Um, there's only a couple that are the crits so are. Uh, it's the elite lizard. I don't want to mess with it because it has corrosive and fire. And it has a big uh, spirit firebomb type deal, so... I can wait, get a plus four, upgrade it, or I can wait and just use a plus three to get a plus six. Fire lizards I usually try to take out first. There's no arsonist or bandit tier. Because they have the accuracy of a goddamn fucking name bar. Got you. I'll just do because it's 400 to 600 to 800 reach things so fuck off no see it explodes look a steam button ow don't you smack me there's no melee button so so let you guys know so if you gun run out you're screwed i think the only melee type character is the bird which he can regen his armor with his abilities, so he's not a good choice. He can regen one armor with a talent by damaging people, but... Yeah, that, that's not good in battle, especially if you have a foundry. So, I mean, the foundry's nice, it's just... There's a lot of guns that does its job for it. It has a limited ammo, so... Yeah, that's what's going for it. And money, money, money. I mean, I could do a plus six and then a plus seven. Or I can wait for four and get a plus seven. Hopefully, there's a blacksmith there. Hmm. Any choices? 400, that's 1,000. That's 1,800 total. If my math is incorrect, I apologize. Uh, yep, you'll see. Yeah, I had another Steam name. But it was very inappropriate. It was hentai guru. All I was transform into boars. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh no, rogue villains, go away. Go away. You hurt. You hurt a lot. I like how they do. I call that a lot of but desert boars are just a normal pests. Just like desert worms, they hurt. Just can melt you if you're not careful. And they have a shield, so yeah. The ones I'm scared of for the desert is having a couple of retainers, snipers, among those. It's the Dark Face Bandit, which is like a fucking tank from. I want to say like a tank from Years of War. Not as scary as that, because that shit terrifies me. I think they have a Lambic version of that in 3, I think. So, that shit is terrifying. Uh, 
henchmen and hermit or oh yeah we have a mini map on the upper left so tell me how many enemies there are or if there's a merchant or a gunsmith if you open up a vault it'll show the vault but it will not show its location when you don't open it up if you get what i mean rogue henchmen are pretty easy they're a lot easier than the If you underestimate that shit, yeah. At least the balance patch. Sorry, I'm looking at uh, my messenger right now. Oh, lol. They did a balance patch for Call of Duty. Don't worry about that. Um. Ooh, food. Sorry, I'm fat. What do you want? Oh, um. Give me a minute. Forgot to mention my birthday's coming up in a couple days. Oh, don't you start with me. You bring a thing. Don't even start with me. Oh, it's a mess. Oh, God. Uh, these balance patches for games are sometimes like, wait, what? What the fuck? Well, uh... Anyway, yeah. So I changed my name to Mellow Work, if anyone's wondering about the Twitch shit. Um... Anyhow. Ow. I need to come back to... These guys do hurt. They're... Ow! Me on fire, you little shit. Oh god, it is a dark faced uh, bandit. Oh god. Oh, oh. These have armor, and the only crit spot is an X on their back. They do charge. They can fire lasers, they will smack you around. Careful of that mutation. Get caught by his charges is not fun. You will not have a fun time. Oh god, he's gonna smack me now. Get that indication, you're getting sniped probably. So, I'm gonna be careful in staring in one place. There's sometimes indications for it. I'm so glad this is not normal, because that thing would have tanked so many fucking hits. It's not even funny. Um. These are bandit tacticians, which are snipers, and they'll stay in one place, so try not to stay in one place when it's trying to snipe, because once it fires, it'll stay in that place, like as you see, it has a laser to indicate when it's going to fire. It'll sometimes sound like an old uh, laser gun. When it kneels, you get easy headshot stuff. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, it's recommended to go farther away, not stay in one area unless you're behind a rock, like that. Because they can decimate you if you're not careful, like this. Uh, but moving is best against these guys if you're doing 1v1 stuff. If you're doing it mano y mano. Try to be mindful of them where they're at. Because that is the most deadliest thing. Like, remember where retainers are, where snipers are, where's the dark faced and the villains, and the desert worms, and the arsonists. In that order. Because if you're surrounded by those, you are fucked. Like, you need to be careful. Because dark faced bandits will fuck you up. See what we would have got. You did, um, you change for enthusiasm. Enthusiasts, I think, are the shards on the two. I already did my three, so I cannot. Oh, can I do an extra? No, I can't. Third one is the extra. Um. Ah, the 
lightning swordsman is one of the easiest because they just run at you like retards. They're the fire lizards if, unless they're in a group and they're like, fucking annoying. No rogue villain. Yeah. Bad rogue villain. Go away. Don't wall towards me. You can see it try to regen its health. That's why you gotta be aggressive, 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 aggressive on some of these enemies, cause... Cause it sucks having to deal with that, right? And Corrosive will still hurt you sometimes, so... It'll still hurt. Ah! There's a retainer! Ah, there's fire! So... Holy shit. Ah! How'd oh, that not hurt me? Ow, 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 ow. These guys are shotgunners. Even at like this range, it can decimate you. I don't know why I'm dodging these, but I'll fucking take it. Sometimes the AI will potato. And they'll just go like, I'm just gonna run backwards sometimes, so. Or sometimes I'll just shoot the opposite direction and still hit you. They have armor, so they will not regen. Unless I. Doing that. Good enough. Right. Stop. Sometimes you can tell where they're moving because they go back and forth. But stop moving. There we go. Hey, I will use anything to my advantage. So don't judge me. All right. Might be a couple waves. Yep. Crit damage is increased. So. You major. Fuck you and your fireballs. But the waves can get you if you're not careful. But you need to be very careful. Yeah. Take that. Yep. You want to take those down as soon as possible if you don't have any corrosive. Not want to be lit on fire right now. Die. Thank you. Ugh. Those things are scary. Ow! Bad bandit hermit. Stop hurting me. If I can fucking aim, please. Can I stop sucking at this? Yep, that's over. I'm surprised there wasn't waves after that, but there will be waves in these up-and-coming ones. Like, the waves are like, they, it, it's like a drug to them, so. But it adds more difficulty to it where it's just not like you're barreling through stuff, so it does take some time to fight it off and know when to pick your targets, especially when you're solo. These retainers you want to take out first or you know, the coyote because the coyote will sometimes go long range this barrel because the barrel will sometimes one shot you know how low their health is and whatever take you out first ah wait until stage two Ooh. Oh, oh, oh hi mr coyote As you can see, they hurt no matter what range. Okay, I like how they're menacing and walking over like that. Like, shit. It can be devastating if you get the full blown hit. So, uh, yeah, those are fun to deal with. Um, oh, dark places. You want to juggle that? Like, really, 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 really want to juggle that? Yeah, you can. 
swordsman. Oh shit. See that X on his back? That's crit spot. Double that. Juggling act like this is kind of ah, as you can see, that hurts a lot. You kind of get clapped if you're not careful. And it's showing indication of charging. That's your best bet to. Oh no! Like those two are your best bet to shoot, unless you have somebody else. Oh great! Two retainers and a dark face. So you can either do a juggling act here. Shit. Yeah, you will get knocked back from it sometimes. But his charge attack is his most lethal thing, you goddamn motherfucker. Sometimes you'll get caught on stuff, but he'll he'll get out of it. So just assume that his charge will always go through. Go. He was my main threat, kind of, so. Because he can hurt a lot. Retainers can too. There's two. And then there's a rogue villain. I want to take out the rogue villain first because he will walk over and do close range. Retainers are kind of easier to deal with. Their guns will. Their bullets will still follow you no matter how close it is to a rock or. Things like that. So you want to watch your mini map sometimes because some characters like the right side will try to flank. So watch for flanks because enemies will flank while you're so focused on trying to deal with other enemies. Like this, the rogue villains are doing the potato AI. I'm like, oh, there, there's an enemy over there, but I'm just gonna try to go around. So. I'm trying to keep my distance as much as possible because it's easier like that and it's easier to dodge these retainer bullets, kind of, so this will be a juggling act, so it's not dealing with like bombers and all that yet, so bombers on first wave you gotta be careful with and then the third one is the lanterns, those things are but this is a juggling act kind of so I'm sorry it's taking long and I can't aim for shit one's down nope he's finally stopped potatoing so you want to take care of him because he shotguns the shit out of you and can... luckily he takes a while to walk up but if he gets close enough you are kind of a sitting duck kind of so like I said I'm glad it's unnormal so it's a little easier but even then, it's still hard. You still can get clapped. I can use a revive. I forgot that. I knew I was forgetting something. I can use the revive. Because, why not? Because that is important. And I don't want to be disheartened if I don't use it. Sometimes I won't use it because there's no point. Because the second one is so... second boss is so enduring space. That sometimes you'll be so unlucky that you won't. Oh, this is probably not even the final wave, isn't it? God damn it. Sometimes these waves take a while, so just, uh... Careful of the fire lizards, because they like to... Yeah, track like that. go he's down so you want to take out the lizards next because the hermits will just run away and hide these guys have fire damage sometimes they'll have shock damage coyotes are just very aggressive so you want to take those out next and then you want to take out i gotta move my laptop around because it sometimes will be like oh no your video's not loading but it's just my laptop derp so um let Let's see here. Oh, well, I just cracked my back. I felt good. Let me eat some carrots real quick. I'm fat. Sorry if you hear chewing. 
my mic is just sensitive and I will work on it in the future but for right now I'm just lazy and I do work so I'm not sorry yeah not talk to my mouth like I was saying I do work so my twitch schedule is pretty weird so I don't think anyone cares because I'm the only viewer right now, but in the future, if somebody's watching this, I don't know why. <sighs> it's so cringy right now, me talking, it's probably... Yeah, uh... Don't underestimate enemies in this. No matter how tiny, if you get ganged up on, you're screwed. Uh, oh, I don't have enough. Damn it. Hmm, a little disappointed now, but you can get a plus nine if you're lucky enough and you saved your gold enough. Ha ha! You get a plus eight, but it's eight hundred each, so you want that. So it's a plus eight right now. And then the damage does go up and la da da da. But I gotta calculate how much, but that might differ. So. Uh, there are bandit gunners. Take those out, maybe. Because they are annoying in groups. Careful, dark base bandits. Ow! Yeah, careful melee attacks. Um, I want to be careful with this shit. It, boom. Go. You're out. But, like I was saying, in this run, boundary is pretty hard to do. Sometimes it's just an endurance run. And knowing when to fire sometimes in the fight, and if I can aim, and knowing the crit options, and then the talents help a lot. Like, Leveling up to 125 helps out so much in this run. It's not even funny. And there's a blacksmith here, a fucking course. <laughs> but it takes gold to upgrade shit. And oh look, a tactician and a henchman. No, 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 don't turn. Take you out next. I'll take you out next. You up next. Yep. You up next, because you're closer and you're more annoying. Uh, careful. We'll take pot shots. Since there's synchronization in that. Now, if you get bored easily, I... Because it takes a while, and... Oh, look. Oh, shit. Let's take care of you. Oh, I did not mean to respawn some of these. Fuck. Oh, shit. That's a dark face bandit. Fuck. I let him get too close. I'm just gonna keep rapid firing, because fuck it. He will do a charge up close, like this. Holy shit. That is not fun to deal with. Go away, Mr. Hermit. Shit. He can't lock on with his thing. He can't turn on dime if you're not careful. Like that, there's an indication of it. He'll do a ground pound also. So if you get caught in that, good fucking luck. Um, you have next because you're annoying. Sometimes the closer, ow, yeah, like that, don't assume that you're safe out of the laser range. Bolts still travel, and they still hurt. There's still a limit to it, but, uh, good luck with that. Because you're still going to be in tight quarters, and you're still going to be able to have to fight that. Uh, did my thing lag? Ah, oh, shit. Damn it, god damn it, god damn it. I need to fix this chat thing so I can 
Why is it still trying to connect to chat? Why are you still trying to connect to chat? Press chat. Connecting to chat. What the fuck? Okay, I'm lucky I got... I'll deal with that later. Uh, okay, back to me being cringy and annoying and, yeah. Just awkward in general. So, yeah. So... And, okay, I got the story on why I wanted to do this. It's more on I wanted to see if it's possible. I was discouraged for a bit because I'm like, I, there's no way. And then I started figuring stuff out. And then it just has been a thing. And I'm like, I want to record. And everybody's been pressuring me to do one and then do streaming since everybody else is doing streaming. So, peer pressure, yay! I'm joking, so don't take that seriously. Alright. So. Oh shit. Yeah, see, there's an indication, blinking, and all that. I wanna take you out, because you're annoying. Alright, there we go. Get over here, you goddamn wizard. Face. Two dark faces? Oh god. Shit. Now I gotta do a juggling act here. Fuck. Shit. Yeah, if you got both of them charging at your ass, yeah, good luck. Oh shit! Oh fuck. I might be dead. Fuck me. Shit. Oh, fuck. I am so... Oh, shit. Fuck. Get out of the way. Fuck. Fuck. If I am hit by them, I am so screwed. Shit, 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 shit. I come too far for the shit. Oh, he knocked me. Okay. They have a long range of my charge, so. Oh god! If I can just lure them into the barrel. That would be good. That would be smart. I think so, but. Oh god! Take you out now. Thing broke! They're terrifying. Two of them are terrifying. Ooh, a steam bun, thank god. Too bad I don't have a gourmet, or else that would have been full health. But, yeah. Oh god, yeah, like that, see? Don't assume that they're. Well, I guess I'll use the revive because I'm too close to that. So once you use the revive, you're fucked. How that took so much damage, but they are, they hurt. They hurt a lot. So, well, if, if I die now, I lose. So, but I did, I really wanted to use that revive for, well, just ignore these guys real quick. Oh, shit. Ignore them, take care of the ground units, and then don't stop moving. Usually, that helps out a lot. There's three of them. Are you? Uh, I forgot about four. Are those retainers? Those are fucking retainers, aren't they? Once the shield breaks, your health gets hit, and then... Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off!
sometimes you want to take care of the one closest to you, but it will reposition, so watch it. You don't got a good range on you. Some enemies will, some enemies won't. So bad, I should have just ran. Alright, in fact, one of them, one more tactician. So, go for some of the tacticians. That's a retainer. As you can see, the tacticians can be a game changer in some of the strategies because if you don't keep moving or don't watch out where they're aiming at, you can get bone. What? Um. Oh god, no, a dark face. Fuck! Hey, you are there. Two of you? Shit. Last thing I need right now. Boing. Ah! Ah! Okay, As you can see, sometimes it's bullshit. As you can see, they really need to fix that shit, which they haven't fixed. Oh shit. Ah, uh, how? Fuck off, please. Hermits, please fuck off. Oh shit. You can see sometimes they will squirm themselves out of there. You can get them caught, but usually you can't. Oh shit. Oh fuck. You can see you have to juggle, especially strong enemies like this. So I tend to focus on these because these guys are just they're armor wise and then they hurt a lot. Their only weakness is the X marks. And if you're smart enough, you can do that, but if I'm not smart enough, I cannot bait it, especially when there's multiple enemies. And so, <sighs> henchmen, they're pretty easy to deal with. They're kind of potatoes sometimes. They're kind of like the horse heads. These guys have guns, so that makes my life a lot easier. Sometimes you can't. This sometimes might have more range. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm still a little casual. Ooh, I got Lone Ranger. What does that do? Uh, give me a minute. We'll put this together. Nice bandit hermit. Just sometimes they'll just sit there, just just stare, just accept their fate. Oh, it's this. When there are no monsters around you, within 12 meters, plus one layer of status for every 0.5 seconds, up to 20 liters. On the contrary, minus one layer of status for 3.5 seconds, plus 5%. Lucky shot chance for each layer, and plus 5% extra luck shoot chance when you reach 20 layers. Okay. I have. More luck chance. Oh look, it shows a radar of enemies too. So that's what the mini map is. You can't find it. Follow the yellow circle. It's out of your map. It's a retainer. So Yep. So retainers will run and teleport sometimes, but you can see these bullets are like Lum Bowman. But that shit. Ridiculous. Ooh, the portal opened up. Hell yeah. And I don't have enough for a plus nine to ride. Nope. Alright, boss time. Okay. So. Do not think I would get this far. Let's do this, baby. Alright. So, just ignore the merchant because you don't got 800. No, ignore the smith because you don't got 800. Ignore the merchant because I'm not allowed to have the merchant. I have no revive. So, of course I have to use revive to stage 3. Oh, 
Here's what you do. And the angle which hits, and then try to dodge that laser. And see if you can't get, get a little close, don't get too close. Try to see where he's going. Sometimes he'll indicate where he's going. Watch out for the little wild boars. Doing that, it's an endurance test. So careful, careful of the little boars, because they will distract you. And if you're too close to him, he will knock you back and smack you around. Oh shit! Careful, he will. He does go a little faster, but two major, he'll do that. Enemies will spawn, it'll be usually coyotes or lizards first. Usually it's coyotes. Watch out. Oh, yep, the ring will just decay and then. Okay, you gotta time this right so you can jump it. Watch out for corrosive stuff. You can shoot these and get more stuff. So that's why I'm trying to shoot it and give me more time. You gotta time it right or else that happens. So that's why I do it. Careful, the desert worms do spawn in this. The armor is the major issue. So you can still shoot at them. Just wait for this. Watch out. Aim right. Get a couple right. Try to wait to one side. Okay. Uh, if you time it right, you can dodge it. We will do three waves. See, he likes to throw corrosive at him. time that so bad. Uh, enemies. If you're not careful, you can get swarmed. You can see lizards are next. And as an indication right there on the ground, he will show himself. His tail is the most easiest. Load. Check the corrosive. It will show around, so you might want to One if I can fucking aim. Boing. You gotta show the indications for that. Uh, lizard, watch behind you because they will go behind you. So, lizards again. We'll keep doing this process until it goes a little faster and it'll do a random attack. So, watch out. Jump. Sometimes it'll do a wave of two once he gets low enough. Oh shit. If I can fuck him, I guess. If we jump too late, we can still get hit. So. Still in the lizard, so. Yep. The armor is the main thing. It's a very, very genre. Just like most of them, but some of them are just a lot easier than others. Is doesn't regen luckily, because if it could, I would be pissed. Okay. Shoot one, sometimes it'll drop a steam bun, but we'll just drop armor. Uh, Alright. Watch out, desert worms do spawn here. So you can get sandwiched if you're not careful. So watch your mini map sometimes and watch. It'll show the boss too. So it'll show here. So, yep, right there. Sometimes it won't show up, and that means it'll show up when. One's got destroyed. You could use a grenade to stop them. Very good for the doggy. Got to time it right. Sometimes you have to do it a couple times. Ooh. 
shit. You for my taste. He's gonna start doing two pretty soon, so lizards. Again. Armor's almost gone, so he'll start doing stuff again. He's doing the tail. Which I corrosive. That was a really close quarter thing. Strategy for him. Watch out. You might want to stay a little more back if you're going to deal with that. Now that his armor's broken, it's going to be a little more simpler. See, there's a desert arm right here. Take care of him. Now he'll start doing crazy stuff. He's going to do a stand up attack right here. Sometimes he won't make it, so you're just gonna have to take the hit. Then he'll do his original tail attack. Watch it. There is at least two, three waves. Yep. These wills devastate you if you can't find the timing for them. Fuck. He will go back to the um, his face. Okay. So there's none here. So you wanna jump, jump, jump. Let me hear that. Sometimes, sometimes that will not work. Watch out. He will hurt you in that circle. So. Out. Careful. On the jumps right. Alright. Some enemies, lizards, I'm a little surprised on, but sometimes it will be random enemies, usually it's lizards or Hazard, hazard worms or coyotes, but usually the first wave is coyotes, or you'll get a couple more waves of coyotes. Um, there's no indication, so it's gonna happen. I'm probably gonna take a hit. Yep, fast enough. Here it is. He might go face again. Yep, his laser will go faster. But if you stick a little bit, you stick to the left. Boars will respawn, so you don't want to get too close, but if you can hit the right area and crit, you'll go down like that again. Like that. Um, you, once you take care of the enemies, he will show up. So that shouldn't be a problem. Yep, he's gonna... Uh, so if that shield goes down for me, I'm fucked, so there is a lot of different watch out waves. Jump, jump, jump. Now the timing's really hard to get down, even I'm just like, I can't get the timing down. It takes a lot of practice to do, so if you want to practice this, that's fine. He's fairly easy once you can. He's not mega easy, he's more of an endurance battle for me. Because you can mess up. Oh, fuck. There's one. Oh, thank god, there's only one. Usually there's two enemies. I don't know if there's more in elite mode. Which usually gets flat. Okay. Yep, jump, 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 and... That's time. Okay. I'm so glad that doesn't hurt me. Thing. 
hit. Yep. Sometimes it's, that's just an inevitable thing, but if you can just tank it with your shield, regen, watch it. Corrosive's coming out. And then, uh, yep, Corrosive's coming out. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck me. I think I fucked up. Oh, oh, I got very lucky there. I got very, very lucky. Now we. Alright. As you can see, you, you can choke on these runs, so don't feel ashamed if you did. This. Ow. Sometimes you cannot, just cannot escape that. Like. Don't be mad too hard. Don't go mega aggressive once you play. Do not. Do, do not. Ah, God. Because of that shit. Watch out. There we go. There. See? Holy shit. There we go. We got him beat. Fuck yeah. So, to be here if you want, oh, plus five, I forgot it's plus five. So, see here, no ascensions, no oculates, no abilities were used, no sh no um, dashes were used. Uh, gotta refresh this, because apparent, or apparently it will wanna go. Okay, fuck off, game. Uh, fuck off, Twitch. Anyway. No senses, no oculate scrolls, only one weapon. The primary weapon wasn't fired. The ability wasn't used. No. <laughs> no grenades were used. No primary fire. No, no primary fire. Used no abilities, no s scrolls, no ascensions, no grenades, etc., etc. Okay. No oculate scrolls were used. No ascension, no abilities, no grenades, no primary fire, no shift. So. Okay, yeah, I keep fucking it up, so, okay, rest time. Ooh, okay. Let's see if we can't go to the boss this time. Because I've only gotten to the first or second stage. Sorry. I'm eating a lot. Yeah. So, uh, what I want to go for is, oh, God, I've been live for an hour while, and it still hasn't loaded the chat. God damn it. I'm gonna have to fix that shit, but. Okay, so. You guys can hear me in, uh, Discord and shit. I apologize. But, yeah, a couple days. In a couple days now, it will be my birthday. I will be 26. But, I might do a birthday stream. So. Here we go. Okay, first stage. It'll be like any other, but. Oh, a ch all enemies become catfish warriors. Oh, fuck it. That's a good one. That's a good one, actually. You, you want to do. You want. Because these guys are just kind of jokes. They're, they're elite counterparts, not. But they kind of are. They're kind of like the close rangers that you can't take seriously. Oh, look, a scroll. Copper miner, goddamn. There's a sneak bug here. Usually there's plus five here, maybe plus six, so I just usually have a plus eight. I have a plus eight on me, so the more enemies you want to be careful for. Um, lanterns. Definitely fucking lanterns and monks. Bow and arrows. Bow and arrow catfish are very dangerous. Like, one of their charge attacks will pin you to a wall for a couple of minutes. And you cannot do anything. So, that is a very big catfish map. I, I just call them that because Kappas and the octopuses. The octopuses are the most dangerous out of them. Kappas are pretty dangerous too if you if they're left alone. Uh, there's a enemy with a chain that will just chain you and punch you in the face. Turn a lot too careful they will have a charge attack 
I will just boost up my stuff now. I think I'll have a plus 10 by the time I get there, hopefully. But, okay. So... Yep. Uh, Catfish Man, and then Octopus. Octopus is armor. He has Corrosive, though. That's what makes him scary. Has corrosive and can rapid fire like a minigun, so yeah, he's pretty dangerous. That's why I'm baiting out the others. You can use bitch tactics, like just finding a spot and using it. I'm so glad he has armor because that would have been... Wise and sometimes their shots will make you corrosive so like that that would have been severe if he still had more bullets uh, like this I am not apologizing for this because I am not dealing with this thing especially when I have no revives that just means it's game over Lanterns are more deadly because they will run at you and hurt you a lot and can ruin your run like a bomber, but they can be run like this. Don't be aggressive. Like, try not to be as aggressive as me sometimes because that can kill you. There's a challenge where you yourself and kill people. I don't know that's possible, but, oh, the Kappas. Deal with the Kappas. Um... I'll deal with the catfish men first because they'll chase after you to the ends of times because they want to smack you with their sword. So yeah, you want to be careful of that. Be careful of okay, what ding? Okay, sorry. I am looking at. It was a fake rip. What? So, but, yeah, so, you want to be very, very careful on this stage, especially this fucking stage, because you can't go forward your posse because your fingers might slip and all that, so, so close together, and using the catfish man first, and then the capo will come next, because he's long range, you can do corrosive. Burning and shock damage. Yeah, that move would have been severe. So watch for that charge, watch for that action. Okay. There's the Kappa. Kappa. He'll probably be floating. His orbs can be shot now. So there's Kappa. There you are. Luckily, he doesn't have an armor or shield, but he does this. So you want to take care of him as soon as possible. The monk, you want to take care of as soon as possible because he will. Drain HP or he will oh god. Holy bitch tactics. He will. No. I will bitch tactics do I have to, but there won't be a lot of them. So once you get rid of the armor. That is a huge ass gun. No. Yeah, so I don't know if it is possible. Uh, okay. Let's do this. There are three stages. They are pretty much four stages. Pretty much wrapped into three. So I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about anymore, but I'm, I'm a very nervous guy, so. Alright. Catfish man. Couple gunners. Couple grunts. So. Finding angles is good too. I'll take you out first because the grunts are pretty easy to take out. Don't want to go too much further. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, 
That's where you gotta be careful with because it will be shot. Yeah, like that. Ow. If I can fucking aim. There is a like a reprieve time. No. No, you are not excused. There. Where does the other one? These ones have shields, like in the first stage ones. If you hurt them enough, they will show up. Okay, stop playing hide and go see. That's, that's my job. You have friends. Where's this other one at? There you are. Because if you want to take them out, like that, you can As they do get harder. Okay, up above, there's gonna be more people spawning. Yep. What do we got? Got an octopus, catfish grunt, and a couple lanterns. Now, if we had a monk, that would be a big problem. There's still a big problem, but oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, like that. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Stop. careful watch your indicator because sometimes there'll be some that sneak around and they'll take out the grunts they'll take you out next because you're closer if i could fucking aim because i'll hold down the left click because it's a lot easier on me owie like that it will be devastating if he hits you with a volley of that so that's why i'm trying to find cover and shit So yeah, pause, move my mouse a little, there is a lot of stuff going on, so what I usually do for an exercise for this is go a full run on Elite, so I can just get out of my system with abilities and shift, uh, dashing and grenades and all that, and then ow, 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 ow that it hurts a lot or else it can hurt you I don't care if it takes forever it's an hour run right now but I'm not speed running or doing anything like that so if somebody else wants to try it go the fuck ahead cause if I beat it like this I will be fucking I will be free cause that's what I'm solely doing right now is doing this so More. Helicopter and spawn. Yep. There's a couple more that spawn. Looks like swordsman, octopus, and bowman. Yeah, like that. See? You want to stay away from his fire, so try to find somewhere that might have cover. Prepare the catfish warriors first, because they're relentless, and if you get corrosive, you get surrounded by these fuckers. They're pretty. Pretty easy to dodge. Um, sometimes they'll just go aggressive and after you. Now, I recommend trying to find a sensitivity for you because my sensitivity is, yeah, holding that down does not help my cause a lot, but these guys you want to be aggressive with because they have shields. It's regen. So if you're not careful, not aggressive enough or miss like a motherfucker like me they die a lot so i don't know what i'm gonna do when there's a challenge where it drains my health that that's oh god go away go away go away go away bad lanterns bad Ooh. that would have been over for a run like if you have that many of them you're dead they're like suicide bombers do we have a monk Take care of the kappa next. Guess there's two kappas, so you want to take care of both kappas. Just 
someone step up and target you. Don't move. I want to just shoot them. Careful. Hurt him for a little bit. Go. Should be another one. There go. Get rid of him. Now he's all that's left. Okay, I gotta readjust. I'm sorry for pausing a lot. It's just a lot of stuff going on at once. Um, Octopus is next. You gotta Octopus. I want to save for last usually sometimes because you can find cheeky spots for him one v one, and he's just super goddamn tanky without other weapons on you to do a lot of damage. Tap tempted to tempting to use a lot of abilities, but you can just stay there. Just, just stay there, please. Yeah, you can, you can just stay there. This will take a bit. Yep, yep, yep. I don't want to just sit there. Like, there's some damages that are, are come with the talent, so that's why you see different damages sometimes. So... situations like this I'll just take it this is the example of potato AI but sometimes you can't perfect the AI to be really good enemy AI but I will take this I don't care and manipulating AI is kind of that's unavoidable sometimes it's just like you randomly sometimes come across it where it's just like um okay I'll, I'll, I'll fucking take it like I'll, I'll take the this like it'll help me yeah I don't, I don't care all right on to stage two Woo! Whew, alrighty so got grunts grunts gunners and a bowman I'm going to take out the gunners first Because I haven't alerted all the other enemies yet, so I'm going to stay in this general direction. Yep, there's a red chest here. I would have grabbed it by now, but so I'm not doing a run like that. I am just going to do this. Uh, I'm going to take care of you first. Just fish man. You can aim slightly up to crit him, since it's his head. Nine times out of ten, it's the head on stuff. Oh god, that last boss is gonna be a pain. You gotta do what you learned, and cannonballs. You gotta be very lucky with steam bones. Oh my god. If I ever get to him, okay. Things forward. Well, I'm not gonna test that. Okay. So, oh, yeah, Keezy. Monks. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Bad news. I got three of these motherfuckers. Diamond. Oh, shit. Diamond Are there a couple more of them? Is there another monk? Watch out, you can be devastated by these. Oh god! Badlands, bad. Ah, ah! These things are coming for my booty! I don't like it. Oh, I'm coming for my booty! Oh god! Okay, that's, that, that's really good to know! Oh dear god! They can go up ramps! I am not a baseball good sir. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay, I'll, I'll take that rubber banding, okay. I think that's what it's called. I don't give a fuck right now. It works. Yay! I scream, I, that is my manly scream, so don't fucking judge me, but... Oh, yeah, there's... You want to take care of that monk. Like, if you're not careful, you can get devastated by him. Uh, 
Let's see what we got. Gunner, two grunts, they see me. So, take you out because you're easier. And you fire more often. Because you like the bandit gunners. Ow. See, that hurts a lot more to me. Um, okay, I'll take you. Take them. Uh, gunner. Uh, the catfish grunt. If I can angle it right and aim right. Go. Sometimes it just turtle behind that. Careful, let's inch up. Inch up and like sharks, there's a corrupted monk. Fuck me. Ow. Aha. Shit. Shit, I'm reloading! I'll take big guys out first. I'll be careful of the lanterns. I'll take care of the So I'm kind of pinned down, and this is a good position to deal with it. As long as none of the melees try to get me and distract me. See them come from a mile away. No, 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 you're not. As long as I don't get caught in one of their arrow attack, in that charge arrow attack, I should be good. I'm going to have to deal with that monk, but right now I gotta deal with the catfish first because they're closer and they're able to stun me. So that's a oh shit. Yeah, they'll constantly summon wave after wave of these. See how that was in charge? You want to be careful of that. Yeah, see, uh, take out the front next. Maybe, hopefully, the lanterns have to take them out. They'll keep summoning lanterns until I kill them. That's the sad part. Um... Whew, okay. Stop summoning lanterns! God fucking damn! Yeah, that would explain a lot more lanterns. Yeah, there might be a couple of them. Some of them might be super aggressive. They have an AOE attack, so yeah. Now that the lanterns are out of the way, because they will spawn like normal monsters sometimes, but these are like the main threats for me. Because once they get close, and there are a lot of fucking enemies on the map, yeah, no, fuck that, you're done. Like, they can ruin runs really bad, so I do not have a revive, so I can't afford to go down. I, I cannot afford to go down or fuck up. Oh, look, merchant. Not merchant, oh. Uh, Forge. Uh, jump up here, jump up there. That's why I allow myself to jump. Because there's some places like that. Plus 10! Woo, a plus 10 foundry! Fuck yeah! But, as you can see, there's a couple more enchantments. Let's see here. Oh, it doesn't even need to hit 400 when you do a plus 10. Damn. But, get all the monies, monies, monies. But, I'm sorry, this is cringy, awkward, and I keep talking, but it just puts me at ease, apparently. Um, take care of you motherfuckers first. You are deadly motherfuckers. Ah! Because you're melee and you like your range. Oh, that would have been really bad. Okay. 
Okay, gunners. I can't use my sneaky cheeky spots if I can. See that? Really hope that's not a trend with these. Oh, steam bun, thank god. Alright, uh, what do we got? Ooh, 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 you hate me right now in this run. Okay. It, oh, oh no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you fucking don't. Get the fuck over here. Yeah, you're dead. You fucking suck my dick. Oh dear god. Oh god. Why is there lanterns? Is there more of them? God fucking damn it there are, but it might be just a regular spawn. Please say it's just a regular spawn. Shit! Shit. Ow. Ah! does a lot of damage that's why I'm fucking scared of him oh shit shit motherfucker the one damage first fuck yeah don't do what I just did don't 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 do that that's really stupid, and ow! Ah, like that, see? Oh my god, how many more of you are there? Oh god, there's more lanterns. Fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh, oh. Jump, jump, jump. Shit, shit, shit. Fucking shit show right now. Uh, 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 oh no! <sighs> I was so close that time. Hold on. Just gotta revive right there. <laughs> I was so close to the boss. It might be possible though. Holy shit. Alrighty. Got a new uh, ranger thing. The flame thing is just their one million. Uh... Again, congratulations to Gunfire for that achievement of one million copies being sold. So let's try this again. I have a minimum of two hours, one hour ones. I don't know why chat is still trying to load for me. Um. Um, yeah, let's try one or two more runs, depending on how good it is. Like I said, in the beginning. So, I will do the thing again. I, this is masochistic foundry difficulty, where you don't use abilities, grenades. Okay, you can't dash, use abilities, use grenades. Fire your primary weapon. Are your primary weapon? Use red chest. Use merchant. Okay. No grenade. No abilities. No. Okay. It's in the description for Twitch. Okay. I can't repeat myself multiple times because my ADHD and my anxiety and shit. Um. And I'm just stupid and trying to repeat it real fast. It's just not going to happen. So this is the first stage. Don't worry about it. Just don't underestimate it because you still can get damaged. And you don't want to get damaged because you have to rely on the steam bun. So take these guys out because they're very persistent. Headshot them because the shield does break. It's just It just takes too long. This will not give you anything that's a goblet. So don't touch it. Uh, Okay. So we're on stage two, okay. Grenaders are introduced. There's a steam bun drop. As you can see there's an animation for the shield. Take out crossbowmans. Grenaders will just run and throw grenades. So taking out the gunners first, really early on helps a lot for that. There's um there's a vault. Cool. Vaults are easier in the first one usually, so 
tell you those. I took out the grenader because he was just there and he's very deadly if there's multiple of them. Swordsmen. Spearmen are pretty deadly and funny. Same time. Uh, there we go. Take that. So, I'm going to try to do the run with a plus, try to pick up a plus four first because it might save me some gold. Might do plus two with the foundry and then, okay. Throwers are annoying because they can do melee and just throw their spears at you. Okay, shield broke. Attack up. Help. So I'm not too worried about that. Shield regen. Later on, it'll be a difficulty. But since it's very early on on normal mode, it is not a problem. And since I do a little more damage because of my talents, I can rest easy. So, I, you got one revive. I'm going to say this, I'm bouncing around because I have ADHD. I apologize, it's probably cringe. It's probably going to be like, holy fuck, this is annoying, this is all around, this is awkward, this is cringy, this is whatever, but... I'm just gonna open this because I hate myself. Oh my god, I fucking hate myself more. So I did not pick that up. Um, yeah, don't don't do that. I have free mouse wheels, so I can switch weapons out willy nilly. Um, watch out! That one was fire, so I kind of got lucky there. Uh, Barrels, they can explode on the enemy too, themselves. So, I took out the Spearman first, because he was deadly. This gives me some gold. I mean, 75 copper. It's copper, not gold, but, you know. Okay, watch your fingering. If fingers on the keyboards, mine are very close. Like, the Q and the E are very close to the moving button. The R is really close to the E and all the other stuff. So, you don't not want to misclick. Mine is shift too, so... I don't want to. One beetles, I'll take them out because there's a group of them. I can take those out and then deal with you if I can fucking aim. Grenaders last. Challenge event, yay! The enemies will explode after being defeated. Okay. Bombers will be in this little area, so please be very, very careful going around that corner. You can use that to take care of them. You can't headshot them. They're, they're a thing. Their cube will explode still. So please be careful of that. I don't know why he was just standing there. Electric ones and corrosive ones. You, well, the, any elements you gotta be really careful of, but it's mostly the shock ones will stun you, and the corrosive ones will make you really slow and you hurt. So, can I please stop holding down on this? Okay. So, there we go. There's a merchant. Yeah, yeah, yada, yada, yada. Can't use that. Uh, we're on stage three, so we're gonna have to be very careful. Uh, it's the elite beetle. Usually, this stage, nine times out of ten, or. 100% of the time it is the elite beetle. I've never seen an elite other than the elite beetle on this stage. It just takes it's time consuming. I'd rather not have a time consuming thing right now. So I'm just gonna kill some of the enemies, take the copper, and then move. if you wanna deal with the elite, that's fine, but it takes forever, especially with a foundry. So I take you out first. Let's see, Elite Pow, I'm on fire. Oh shit, fire. You can still get hurt in those, so please be careful. The Elite kind of came out, so I'm gonna fail. It's not because he's hard, it's because it's just time consuming for my run, and then you make a mistake, and then... Alright, I'm gonna be on the fourth stage, which you want to be very careful of. Now, for new players, this might be a little bit, oh, oh he's just shown off, or it's just, oh, I, I'll never be able to do this. It just takes practice and patience, and if you just enjoy it, like I do, I enjoy it a lot, it's just I'm burnt out trying to purely do this challenge. Watch out. He does that, when he charges up like that, you dodge, go back, plus two, tab, drop, F, 
pick up. Careful. Just free scroll or press three. Which I just free scroll and all that shit, so it's very much take out the beetles because there's some Google alone and they're easy to kill, they're one shot. Grenades last, so as usual, he tries to keep his distance. Chess, get the gold out of there. So, and everything, so, alright, fourth stage. Usually this is like a cakewalk sometimes, so. Sometimes, not much. Alright, saw a vault, very good start. Close quarters, watch it, watch that. So you get a couple of those, you shield a break, and yada yada yada, you know. Uh, go that, and then get you out of the way. You're still plus two. You won't get a plus three unless you beat. Oh shit! Yeah, no, we're not we're not dealing with that because the stone ones will get respawn the stone, respawn the enemies, and I don't got other guns to deal with that. All I got is the foundry, like I said. I'm gonna want to take you guys out first because you can track. Why that didn't hit me? But okay, I'll take it. They have armor, so I'll, I'll take you out next because you're closer. Oh shit. Try to move, keep moving, watch where they fire. Because sometimes you can dodge and then dodge the other side, but try not to do that because you can get hurt. Horse heads will sometimes do that where they just like block each other and they will have a long range attack, so watch it. You can bait this and they'll expose their head. So let's reload, wait. Wait and see. Yep, there we go. There's three spearmen and a spear thrower. Sometimes you can bait these charge attacks and they'll explode the barrels. It's fucking hilarious to me. I don't know why. But you do that and then you get rid of that. There's another wave coming. No, not another wave. Fuck, you make me look like an ass now. Um, last ones, there should be a wave. Maybe, maybe not. Sometimes you'll have waves, sometimes you won't. Oh, uh, you might have two or three. Yep, this one might have waves. Sometimes you won't know, maybe, sometimes. So I'll take out the spearman first, because you're closer. And then I'm going to take you out first, and I'll have to watch the mini-map, because sometimes you'll be so focused on an enemy that you'll get short-sighted. Let's open this. Sometimes if you move up, enemies will go watch out for the explosive barrels because you can get hurt unless you have an ability for the dog which i do not have so careful when using that long bowman you wanna take care of him crits are like your friend here you can penetrate this usually with explosives and yeah that didn't work out let's get rid of you oh god reason why I want to get rid of the Lung Bowman pretty much first sometimes is because if you're surrounded by them, you're pretty much, yeah, trying to do the Matrix around here, and I'd rather not try to do the Matrix, because you will be guaranteed, you will be hit. So, yeah, there is a lot of different things like that. Let's take you out, because stop flipping, and I need to stop missing. Uh, he just hurt himself, thank god. Let's reload. The reason why I like to reload a lot is because if you run out of fucking ammo... You don't run out of ammo with the foundry, but if you have to reload midway, you are... You sometimes set yourself up to, like, be caught. Well, I might go into the... Oh, uh, the... The... Uh, vault. No, not dealing with that. This one's a trap door one where it just circles the thing and then there's spikes and then there's a corrosive trap. And I'm on the fourth stage already. I'm versing Lu. Lu is very aggressive. Like, very mega aggressive. Sorry if you hear cracks in my knuckles. You're cracking, that's me. Well, there's a lot more. You can go to the smith if you're not very confident or you're just like give me a plus five but i'm pretty confident yeah you saw the bullet <laughs> I, I i'm wondering if you can hit them hit him but uh, it's a lot easier to use this 
explosive barrels, but he'll use a meteor attack. You can use these pillars. But be careful. Try to use. Oh god. Since you're not using dash, you want to get as much distance as possible. Sometimes you can manipulate him into. Yep, he'll start running at that health, and then he'll start. Sometimes you can get a free hit in, but you want to get close as possible. Get rid of the shield because the shield will get annoying. Then he'll jump down, take care of these beetles because they will be a nuisance to you. There will be bombers. Oh shit, he did the slam jam, I like to call it. And then he'll use a meteor attack, and since you won't be able to get away from that since you're not dashing. Oh shit, yeah, I'm not close enough. He is just not letting me do shit today. Oh my gosh, you are very aggressive today. You're just trying to show off today, aren't you? Now, like that. These are pillars, there's only so much it can take, so be careful. He'll run. This is your chance to, like, be aggressive. Careful bombers, you want to take care of the bombers first. Because if you're caught by them, you're pretty much fucked. Just take care of that beetle. Watch out. He'll usually throw a boulder at you. If you're at a certain amount of distance, you won't need to do it. Sometimes there's a little uh, trick with it. Oh, uh, shit! I almost had it. I almost had the distance covered. He's very aggressive, he's not stationary like that. See how the pillar is almost gone. What up, barrel? Why do I say barrel? Okay, he's running again. So here's what he's gonna do. He's gonna you wanna be a little aggressive with them because he let him regen too much. Oh, see that? You can dodge him. Shit. Yep, I'm gonna get hurt. I'm not big enough. Oh shit! Oh motherfucker! Fucking. But sometimes he likes to do that and then use the boulder attack because he's a dick. Ah, steam button thing. He likes to use the slam jam. Oh fuck, Tony. No. There it goes. Cause yeah, don't underestimate. It. Like like I said, don't underestimate. It. I can't believe I died on normal glue woo, but that's the nature of the beast if you're not careful. So <laughs> that was a short run this time around, but oh yeah. Oh, Angram, how you doing, buddy? Sorry, I just saw your message, so. No, I am not a hooker, thank you very much. You just message. Uh you just look at a message. I just message you too, yeah I am. Oh, somebody posted a fake video of uh update balance for Call of Duty already, Grim. OnlyFans. I do not have an OnlyFans account. You know that. You and I both know I can't just pull that off. Anyhow. Oh yeah, I almost got to the boss, Grim. I almost got to the third boss, but um, yeah, I had a waste to revive on the desert level. I was very sad because I was pretty close to the boss level when I got it, so depressing, but I am in TeamSpeak, but I am talking a lot just to get through it. That's how I got to there. Don't know why it's pretty cringy right now. All right, let's get back to started. All righty. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, all righty. Let's try this again. This might be... I don't know. Alrighty, let's take you out first, and then you jump down, take you out, then you go up. There might be a couple more. Yep. Yep. 
shield because the crits are easier on here. Two out. And we got to take left side, take you out. There's a couple more to take you out. If I can fucking aim with the crits, take you out. There should be one on the ramp because of the mini map will help out a lot. Stage is here. Be a yellow indicator for that. Take him out. There's a big guy. Take care of the swords because he's right there. There's a gun. Pick that up because it gives damage. It's plus one. Doesn't matter. You get this good damage. Big guy. Crit. This does not give gold. So. Yeah. It's a bit of an annoyance. Uh, let's see if. There's more than that. Uh, okay, vault. There we go. Okay, there's a plus one still. Take out the grenader. Oh, look. Sponsorship, I hope you got it. Did not show. <laughs> but, um. Okay, vault in. Yeah! You out. Alright, we need spearmen and crossbowmen. Spearmen out, because you're not Cross moving first. You got heavy. Jump back down here and then you gotta take care of the poison grenader. Just corrosive. Okay. Take out him because he's closer. Take you out because you're closer, but you're not annoying. You only have health. His shield will go off, but it's easier just to crit him in my opinion. Chest won't give me any copper. So, merchants cannot use yellow indicator. Don't pick that up because you already got a plus one. Grenaders, take out another grenade. There will be more. Take out the spearman. Spearman, take out the other one. Grenaders will be the only one left. So, he, he won't put up much of a fight with throw grenades. I don't know if he has melee. Probably not. So, it's pretty easy to tell when you do that another stage right side grenader take that left explosive barrel because it's too easy we got a spearman we got hurt we got a heavy crossbowman let's take care of you first and then we'll take care of the grenader then there should be one more on the right because the indicator yeah that's pretty easy right now so yeah, money. Oh, it only gave me 50 this time. Ah, uh, it is second stage, so I'm not too surprised there. Alrighty. We're on stage three, so watch out. Okay. Couple yeah. explosive barrels here. Watch out for the triple. Like that. Things will explode it. Oh, bombers. Take out bombers first and beetles. Because they like to give hugs. I don't like very deadly hugs, so. And they leave behind stuff. Alright, this is a lightning grenader, so he will shock. There's two crits. That's a bomber. Take that out. There's a spearman. There will be a group of uh, bombers. You want to take them out as soon as possible. So let's take you out first. And then there's a couple grenaders. And then there will be bombers. Take care of the bombers. And then there's a low health. I can aim. There's a smith, but it's not recommended to pick that up. But okay, well, let's go with two grenaders because I'm just fucking busy dealing with them. Cross Bowman, deal with him because I was locked onto him. I was just damaging him anyway. So, beetles, I'll take them out first because they one hit. Weapon, double check the weapon once you get a breather. One explosive barrel, watch for bombers. So, bombers are my main threat right now. Watch out for grenade or grenades because they can still hurt a lot. Okay, got a sword, quick soldier, take him out. Then just take out the crossbowman. Somebody walking their dog. Uh, take out the crossbowman because he pretty much can fire at range. Poison grenaders, they take a bit. This is the plus two. Yep. Pick that up. It's a lot simpler.
get to the chest first because it's his gold. Oh, shut up. <laughs> it, it's pretty bad, I know. It's it's bad commentary, so. Com <laughs> it's fucking terrible, you fucking kidding me? But somehow it gets me farther. I, I did the commentary, it got me farther than I have ever. Then when I didn't, well I did, but Luwu kind of fisted me, so. Because Luwu wanted to show off that today. Wanted to go mega aggressive today, because. Yeah. Terror Bro? It's not Terror Bro? Yeah, well. Take out. Take out Long Bowman, because he locks on. I don't know why that did not hurt me. Take that out. He's pretty easy to take out. Uh, do that. Go. Wait. Challenge event. Watch for enemies exploding then, because that can hurt you. Take out spear throwers, because it's an easy kill when they emerge. Take out another spear thrower. Take out the spearman next, because up close and personal. Not fun. Alright. I'll try to use the shield back. Shield back again. Go. They drop a scroll because it was the challenge, but shoot this bolt. You got accuracy down here. So, all right. What you want to do is take care of the longbowmen because they can lock on. Like I said, he, they have lock on and they have armor, so it's a lot easier. Ooh. Watch out for the horsemen because of their long range. They can hit you from long range. If I can fucking aim, please. Thank you. I'll take you out first. Because these guys are easier to bait out. So I'll just wait my time for them. Yeah, stand, stand that corrosive. That's awesome. Uh. Oh god. Oh. Watch for them because they can be uh, assholes. Oh god. I, I heard Long Bowman. Got Long Bowman. Okay, do not get yourself cornered here. That, that is the last thing you want to do here. trying to shoot the shields out of that one so now here's what's gonna ow but you're on the rosy with them if you're lucky uh, ow i'm gonna be trying to play uh russian roulette with them okay. uh, sometimes you get the timing down wrong it kind of lays it fast enough you can actually do that but all right let's get the chest first because easy gold and then check the vault because it's oh we're on stage four so we're going to the boss okay dokie um let's do this it is challenge event oh this one's like the easiest one out of all of them Easy gold, well, copper. That's the currency here. They turn into horn beetles, which are one shot. Don't take out the commanders, doesn't matter what order. Foot soldiers. Gotta really stop doing that. Watch that attack. Jump, jump. Don't bother opening the chest because it doesn't give gold. It will only give you scrolls, and if you accidentally pick it, pick it up. I will restart because fuck it. All right, golem, golem time. Okay, this should not be too bad unless it wants to prove me wrong this time. So, all right, who is messaging? Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. Let's resume. 
and it eats carrots. Be careful. Let's escape. Alrighty, golem time. No, I prefer golem right now. Luwu is. I don't know. Alright, golem. Love the animation, always. Alright, let's use the rocks. Watch out for his laser. Just shoot him. Shoot the core right there. Watch for the laser. He gets into that animation and usually means the laser's coming. Yep. Hide behind these boulders. Break in one shot. Watch out! When he does this, watch out for the rocks. Yep, because it can come up and hurt you. Laser beam. Peek it if you're... Boom. because that's distracting me. The closer I get, the more damage I get. I don't know why, but it should be like that. Boulders will damage rocks, so watch it. Shoot boulders if I can fucking aim. Watch for the timing on those and watch where the rocks are. That's why I'm sticking to some of them because it's easier. Okay, let's go. Oh shit. Give me a new one. Shoot the core. Watch the rocks. This is when it gets into that anim an the animation. That rock. Or the boulders, rocks, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Extract you from the lasers. Firing. Boulders first, just watch for his laser because you can focus on him, he will take you out. You just have to angle it right for the thing, I'll just shoot to the face. Go, boulders. Second wave coming probably, or, or the rocket punch. Two. Love the delay on him now. Watch it, they might. Yep, he's gonna do that. Every so often, oh god. Let's do this. Careful, right side. Take the tank that. Let's do it. lasers, watch it. Ah! <laughs> I peaked it too much, that was so dumb. To do, oh god. Reckless like that. Don't pay attention, you're gonna get hurt. Oh god. No, 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 no. Ow. Cover. So I can use laser tech. Nilly! 
Pleases. Uh, might do another one. Oh, oh, oh. Well, this provides me cover. Thank you. Because I mean, it, it's more convenient to deal that because it's kind of kind of unfair. Oh shit. Right one. Dodge left. Might do a laser attack. Nope. You want to give me more cover? Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. Try not to assume. Attacking, why is it taking so long? It's bad, it's far. Face. Load. Laser. Going here. Shit. Side, side. Out for usually. Oh, man. Boulders. Try to take out boulders first. Doesn't make help. Oh shit. We'll just take that hit. Okay. Yep. Just hide behind there. Where is it? Doesn't matter. Boulders. to have this cavalry this bucket no ascensions no oculus scrolls nothing was used there we go and so okie dokie yes i did get them uh, and hello there how are we doing on this fine day i uh all right first stage got them Yeah, welcome out to the stream. Alright, let's rest up. Descriptions below on what I'm doing with my challenge because I can't keep track of what I can and can't do sometimes right now. Alright, let's take out Tainer first. Track me like that. And if I can aim. That's man. Buck me back. Ah, fire. Go, you're out. Now you're next. Closer. Let's see if there's a pyro. There's always one on the stage. Let's see here. Let's take out. Come closer to me. No, I have not seen the speedrun stuff. I'm just. I'm just casual and all that, but yeah, they're probably insane as hell. Yeah, I'm just in it for my own rules right now. I want to see if it's actually possible. But no, I have not seen the Foundry only speedruns and stuff like that. They're probably 
very crazy and insane so I probably wouldn't be able to pull it off so <laughs> yeah they they kind of are the story about what why I'm doing it is because I want to see if it's possible to do it it might be possible because you can beat the first and second boss and I almost got to the third boss while doing this challenge it's very endurance, very hard discipline, and yes, this is probably a lot easier, and it's because I hate myself in games. So, usually I don't do commentaries like this, usually I just hang out with like Grim House Hound, Death Artisan, and all that, their links are below. Yeah, every attack being avoidable, it's a lot harder to do when you're doing it because you got to figure out distance jumping and all that some of them are unavoidable and you have to take the damage so sorry about that i paused so i can catch breath Ar arsonists i need to be careful of coyote take care of you because you're so close the arsonists are easier for the barrels Sorry. Explosives, hurt them. Yeah, there we go. Coyotes are next because they're simpler. Yeah, it. But the reason why I'm doing this is because I got curious. Because I got bored one day and I'm just like, hey, why don't I try this? Yeah, no. Um, it was very discouraging at first, and then when I beat the Wu. Before the golems came out, I'm like, it might be possible. And then it just it just snowballed from there where I was just like, okay, I'm doing this offline now and then partially why I got into Twitch and once this challenge is done, I'm probably gonna stream something else, but sorry I'm rambling a bit, but all my buddies, death, people down below, my friends, they're amazing streamers. Yeah, the mechanics to upgrade those. Yeah, sorry I keep pausing. I have to look at my laptop too because my stream lapsed a bit, so. Yeah, that's that's how I do it with that because the foundry, the only way suck is sleaze to upgrade it, but. Everything but other weapons, yeah. So it wouldn't be a foundry only with other weapons, but yeah. Ah, they're not. It's not great. Trust me. It, you should have seen the first time I tried it. Oh my gosh, it, it was stumbling and cringy and awkward. I'm glad it was deleted by Twitch a little bit. So the day expiration. But let's take these light swords out. They're easier. Let's take these out. But yeah, let's get this. Little, there we go. Now I can see out the corner of my eye. But, yeah. So, I've seen some speedruns of other games and it's insane. So, I don't know how insane some of the speedrunners are on uh, Gunfire, but they're probably crazy and stuff like you haven't really thought of. So, but, okay. My ADHD kicked in. Back to the story. I just got into it because I was curious and see how it went and I've been doing it ever since for twitch and partially is why I'm just like okay I need this recorded so people can't call me a liar when it is possible I am doing a normal difficulty because I want to know if it's possible and elite kind of discourages me from that because there's a lot more episodes. but and then everyone kind of pressured me into doing Twitch because everyone else was doing Twitch, so I finally gave in. Uh, let's take out lizards, coyotes. You're low, so take you out. Never. Ah, uh, fight! Holding that down. Uh, um, yeah. Crit you. But yeah, there's yeah, it was more of a restriction rules. 
Oh, yeah. It, it takes a lot of discipline for my challenge where it's just like, yeah, no. <sighs> it, it, it sucks, but it's a lot more... Attention right now, need to pay attention. There we go, that was not the best idea ever. It's an arsonist, it's probably one or two. Hello there, lightnings. Uh, you guys, there's two of you, so I want to take you guys out first. I got cornered. Ah, oh, shit. Oh. Well. Wanna use a revive or not? Fuck it. Let's use a revive. And it might I might not have to use it, but okay. Yep. Anyway, let's take you guys out with that explosive barrel. There. The reason why I want to take out the arsonist first is because they are the main detriment to this. Oh yeah, it's so bad. The one room I'm terrified of is having the elite arsonist in this stage because it has corrosive and it's tanky. And you're stuck in between a two snipers, tacticians. You are so so fucked. Like. There we go. But yeah, usually my setup is usually I just do a regular elite run just to get a lot of stuff out of my system and then do this challenge usually, do it on stream, get it pretty much okay. You can teleporting. Oh god, it gives me indication of there. <laughs> alright, alright, uh yeah, usually, yeah, the setup kind of sucks, but... Ow. I am making rookie mistakes right now. Anyhow, up. Take you out next. Stop you. There we go. Yeah, the one challenge setup that I'm afraid of once I get to the water stage is that damn one where you get hurt and you have to kill enemies or hurt them to get health back. That's probably going to be my biggest problem. So, uh, quit. There we go. Well, Usually I just decide not to bother with the vaults in general because some of them are just elites that you don't want to deal with. Okay, villains, let's take you up first because you are just like that. You are just scary. Hermit, take you are next. Let's, let's stop missing. That, that'll be a... Uh, Oh, second wave. Gosh, those ragdolls are hilarious. Uh, let's see here. We got a couple of them inside where the merchant is. No. Explosive barrels to get it. The villain got some swordsmen. Get out of the way. Take you out. Take you out. Yep, shotgun. Wait a little bit. Out. That's a little dangerous to fucking do, so not recommended. Yeah, I, I oh, sorry, that was a little out. Uh, yeah, I think so, if I think correctly. Because I haven't seen it in the first and second stage, I think. So, I think so. I think that's going to be the main problem with that one. So, yeah, that 
That is a possibility, I think, because I think it's the only stage that does that, and it's very annoying. Even with guns and abilities and everything else. So, and right now I'm running on dangerous waters with wasting my revive. Desert Worm, let's take you out because you're like a turret. Coyote, since you're next to me. Oh, villain. Focus you if there's no arsonist. Oh gosh. More of a feeling? Yeah. It's fine, like. Interesting to see. Yeah, I get what you mean, though. Like, okay, should I go with plus six? Because that would be 1,100. Let's go with the plus four because I might be able to get it plus eight without. Sorry, I'm calculating stuff in my head. Thank you, Steam Bun, because I wasn't paying attention. I just gotta pay attention more. Plus four, there we go. What luck right there. Pick it up. That was a little too risky for my taste. Can't stay in this area now because there's an arsonist and a villain. Two villains. Tainer, ow. No, 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 no. That, that was a dumb mistake on my part. There's a crack in the vault. Yeah. Careful. There's a bandit retainer right there. Careful, villain. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I press E. Oh, yeah, I have to start all over if I press E, even if it's on accident, so... It's a very... I mean, anyone can give it a try. I'm, I'm gonna say this right now. Anyone can give it a try if they want, just for shits and giggles or whatever. So, if you wanna try it, go ahead. I'm still gonna keep trying to see. My recommendation is using the cat because he is more shieldy. Yeah, I probably should, but I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> but then having to rebind the regular ones, but yeah, rebinding is kind of would help a lot. Ooh, a plus one right away. That's really good. But like I'm saying, anyone can try it. It. I, I would be amazed if somebody actually beat it. Like I, I'll be more happy to see someone beat it before me. Like I'll just be the person who paved the way. So, but, yeah, let's take you out. Pretty much normal, pretty easy. I went too close. It's Bowman right there. Heavy cross Bowman. Take you out. Jump out. Foot soldier. Back up. Crits. Yeah, the E and Q are really close together, but there's a little trick with the Q if you want to do that, but technically it's cheesing the rules because I used it. If you hold Q and go near a portal, it'll cancel out the Q while you're holding it, so that doesn't give gold. I don't even know why I even open it. Um, there's just a lot of... Yeah. I might have to rebind my sh nah, not the, really the shift key. I gotta rebind the E and the Q, but that could be messed with for another run. Probably gonna have to change the sensitivity to my mouse too. Let's take that out. That was a close comfort. Take you out. Go. All right. That's really good to know, thank you. Because I think, based on... Also for information about how it works, it's always drawn to the place that is based on the Steam user. That's really good to know, actually. Because I was trying to calculate that. I couldn't think of... I know they do plus two around two or three. 
two, two, three, and four for drops for weapons, and then they fall off after a bit. Yeah, up to the first boss. The first boss drops a plus three guaranteed usually, so. Yeah, I don't think I've seen a plus three drop. Only, only the boss has dropped a plus three, I think. I could be wrong about that, so don't mega quote, quote me on that. Oh, crap. Like English, please. So, usually this is not part of the content what I use. I usually fuck around with friends while doing this, so. It's still a first, but yeah, that, that really does help. I think I've tried calculating how I'm to have the copper trying to get to the plus marks, trying to make as much possible. Oh. Alright, let's get gold here. Let's do it. Yeah, and I think up to some of the bosses, second boss drops plus four, plus five. first because of the threat right there. What soldier next? This is up in my face. Uh, crossbowman next because he's the only one. Wave 2 coming. Shoot this vault. Shoot heals. Give me one shot. Alright, I'm gonna pause this because I need to read. Oh, that's really good to know. Plus fives can only have Geminis. Geminis. That's really good to know. That is really good to know when having that. I really didn't know that, actually. So. Wish I would have known that, but. Yeah. That's what I thought, so. Yeah, I might have to look more into it, but... Did you see the roll map for uh, Gunfire right now? Because they apparently looks like they might have a new hero going on. New hero and a campaign later on in 2021, if, the if I read the road map correctly for them. So, hoping to beat it before then, because uh, I like my sanity. <laughs> Uh, what got? Okay, let's deal with bombers first. Let's see here, deal with. Yep. No, grenade can go. And I got stuck on something dumb. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because getting a plus seven later on is kind of. That would be kind of. Alright, last wave. Need to pay attention better. Need the grenader since it's one shot. Spearman next. Orn beetles because they're easier. Load the book. Rising grenader, take you out because you're kind of threat. Bomber died. Lightning died. Bomber, one shot. Okay. Take care of you because you're one shot. Yeah, it is pretty promising. I was I was pretty excited because I'm like, whoa. <laughs> 2021 is gonna be a very interesting year for gunfire. So I hope they keep those promises. That's that's what I'm concerned with. But shouldn't be con too concerned because they keep their promises. So. If you get what I mean, like a lot of developers that are just like, mm, nah, we we won't keep that promise, and then Gentail leave. But right now they they've kept their promises, saying, oh, we got a new hero, go get him. So they I, I like that they actually try to tell people look, there's a setback or something like that. Some developers are just like, where is it? We're like, yeah, there there was a setback. 
Oh yeah, they're very passionate about their project. Very much so. But... Oh yeah, they are. I you, you can tell from the work they are usually, so... It's kind of refreshing to see. Uh, if you like Gunfire, I recommend RoboQuest 2. They really like their project also. It's still pretty early, but it's still pretty fun if you like gunfire. It's pretty much robots shooting each other. Robots with abilities. That's it, it's pretty awesome. It, if you like gunfire, I recommend RoboQuest also. Those developers are really passionate about their work also. I have a buddy who actually helped find uh, out of bounds areas. I really need to start paying attention. Um, uh, let's see here. Yeah. It, they're still trying their best, but yeah, from what I've played, I love it. I actually love it. I want to stream it, but, you know, ah, nope, no Indiana Jones today. Yeah, it, it'll take them a bit for the content, but it is really worth it when it's worth the wait and everything, so. Ow. Uh, uh. You out of there. Pick you up. That slows me. Take out the longbowman because you're. Yep. Yep. Ciao. Yeah, I. It's worth the money. I'm gonna say that now. It's worth it. Those are right now. I blame my buddies for me getting addicted to these two games, so. I, I blame them so much. <laughs> so. Spearman next, and then we gotta do, uh. That's how it usually goes, it's just like, mm, I don't know about it, and it's just like, why didn't I buy you soon? Yeah, so... This my laptop's acting up again. There we go. Oh, okay. Come on. Oh, don't you dare. Really? You're gonna start with this. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm gonna, while I wait for that thing to load back up, point. around now. You go. Put the angle here. Okay, you can back up against me. Dash me. Ow, that hurt. Just get that shield going on. Shield bash me. There we go. Have the crossbowman out. There we go. Get you closer. 
Spearman. Spearman. Alright, portal is open. Let's pick up the chest. Oh, yes. Which one will I get? Lu Wu or Golem? I'm kind of hoping for Lu Wu so I can get my payback. So. Uh, oh. Yeah. Let's take out a couple enemies and then I tail it because it's gonna be Lead Spearman. God. Okay. Cut soldiers, crossbow, and boing boing. Spearman next. Oh, you're not dead. I assumed you were dead. Should I assume? Bowman's next. Let's load. Run. Load. Run. Dip. Uh, yeah. Okay, so. Alrighty. Hero plus two also. Golem again. Well then. They just love putting me and Golem in there. How long have I been streaming for? Ah, oh, shut up, you damn thing. You are still connecting to my chat. I'm definitely going to have to look at Streamlabs for this BS. So, if. Sorry, Primage, if you were in chat, my laptop froze up and it just restarted the chat. And I'm still connecting to chat to stream. My Streamlabs also, so. I do apologize if you were talking. But, alright, off to the golem. So. Ah, okay. They know how to make an entrance, that's for damn sure. Lasers. Face. Four right here. Today, but yeah this might be my last run or so because I try to do two or three hours of this in total so hopefully this run is really good well, ow. yeah was not paying attention to that okay laser beams coming up shoot in the face laser beam coming up right there there. Like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Never try what I just did. Nope. Ow. Yeah, should have been better right there. There we go. Boulders up. Let's get that. Let's get that. That, that, that. that. that, that. Lasers. They kind of nerfed the golem though, because oh my gosh, he 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 was the one that I was like terrified of. Like I would prefer Lu Wu, like trying to punch me in the face over this, because how crazy he was. Even though he was a little easier, like some people said, I'm just like nope, I'm not getting clapped. Nope, sorry, sorry, sorry. delay of the rocket fist now because uh if you weren't careful he got yeah he's supposed to punish usually if you're not careful 
because they did say it in their notes they made the rockets more um, accessible the boulders I can't remember he used to spawn boulders a lot faster that that was that was something else. so yeah I wasn't a fan of the rocket punches when they were like almost simultaneous but for sure, that was one of his deadliest arsenals, to be honest, so... But I'm glad they did the rework on him, like... If he was a endgame boss or something, I wouldn't mind it too much, but... As of right now... Uh, yeah, most definitely. Oh, no! I'll just tank that hit, screw it. Gotta do, oh, yep. Boulders. Shack me, so rocket punch me or something. Boulder. Oh. Yeah. I, I really didn't notice that, to be honest. Like. They do punish people. I, I love how they punish people who don't pay attention. Like that. Like he's more of a punish where you gotta juggle or else you're kind of, uh, yeah, you're just asking to get me. So. I just welcome a challenge for these challenges right now. So if anyone wants to try it, just let them know for an if you want. Like, they they can try it. Yeah, I. Uh, sorry, I'm going a little bit off because I rarely have viewers who actually interact with me. So forgive me if I'm not very good at it. But yeah, Lulu and Golem are pretty nice right now. It was a nice refresh for the golem to actually make an appearance. Because it did get stale when you saw Lulu and it's just like, oh, come on, man. I, I, I love you, but you're just there now. it's I don't even know if it's possible so if somebody does find it to be possible good on them I'm just glad I'll be the guy that uh, that started it all so if I do it I do it if I don't I don't it if somebody actually does it it's more of a relief for me that means I can stream something else to be honest I'm not saying I won't try to do it but it's yeah, I. Once you start getting hooked on beating bosses while doing it, it's like a hot. That's partially why it's no ball out of control. Because once I beat Luru with it, I was so happy. And then once you beat a secondary boss, you're like it, it, it's right there in your grasp. And then when you are close to the third boss, it's like I can do this. So it. It takes a lot of trying, so don't get discouraged about the challenges at all. It it, it takes a lot. <laughs> it, it'll take a lot out of you. Sometimes taking a break from it helps. It's it's a very mind-boggling thing to try, but and you're not stealing thunder from me. It it really doesn't hurt my feelings. Must be glad to have something that can bring to life for a community to try if like speedrunning is just somebody's just getting tired of these challenges, but you get know what I mean, but yeah, like uh, go punch that mouse a little bit, rocks, them down. 
tonight. Boom. It's a spike attack. There we go. A little bit. Gosh darn it. Boulders. Take one out. Take that. Please look down. Stick. Oh, that's not a bad hit. Lasers uh, gone. Pure luck right there. No. No, no, no. <laughs> I think I almost had a heart attack right there. <laughs> oh, that, that laser peak right there sh should have knocked me into next week. Very, very nice brimage. Very nice. Yeah. Just. Yeah, very nice. I, I couldn't do it. I tried doing a foundry only with <laughs> nothing, and uh, yeah, I forgot how squishy you are without that, so. Gone. it is kind of a little easier to speed run though because it actually shows you your actual time instead of <laughs> right i i have to agree with you primage i sometimes play mega aggressive too so <laughs> I, I know the feeling all too well in most rpgs and most shooters when you're squishy i'm just like no, I want to kill you! Stop being squishy! I can be very impatient. So, I, I, I know the feeling all too much. But I do like this game because it actually makes me think on if it's worth being reckless or not. It's not- oh! We're reckless. You got lucky. This is you got reckless. It's your own damn fault. <laughs> All right, you're going down now. Stop moving. Here we go. Yeah. So. Alrighty. Drop you off. Pick you up. And I hate myself more. <laughs> this scroll. Oh, I really want to pick you up, but no ascensions, no oculus reviews, all the above. That fun stuff. Uh, yeah, but like I was saying though with my challenge, it it can give you kind of a high when you beat those bosses. And it's kind of scary. <laughs> I want you can get that like just seeing that discovery is nuts. So nuts. And I would have a plus three in there. There's a coyote. Let's go. There's a no, back up. You need a back up. There we go. Chainer. Dodge that. I really need to get a second monitor for this. Uh, so behind me, priority. Take you out. Minimap. Behind me, priority. Take that out. Oh. 
I still remember there's a story here. It was just me, Death, and Zayla or somebody else. Me and my buddies were playing and we just pretty much gave Death everything and we didn't attack him. So we just let him solo everything, I think, and gave him all the scrolls and everything else and we just pretty much let him do stuff and oh my gosh. We 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 broke it. Like it it was broke. This was before all these patches and all that, but it was broke. <laughs> it was so funny because he used to he was just walking through everything. I don't think we beat it, but it was pretty close. It was hilarious. It, it, it was so bloody hilarious just to watch him do that. <laughs> yeah, just me the dog. It's just like, oh my gosh. Yeah, it, it, it's... It's pretty hilarious giving the best scrolls to the dog and then just giving everything to him and then it's just like, okay. I don't know, I find it hilarious because it's just like, this is broke, but it's a hilarious type of broke. It's just one of those hilarious brokes where it's just like, hmm, okay. Shots, the curve. But, yeah, it, it's insane what you can do in this game. But, okay. I will take you. Potato AI. Uh, Arsonist. Barrel. Hurt. Jump. Okay, what you to get me? Dodge that. Shoot. Shoot that. Shoot that. That is way too reckless. That. Pop go on me. Explosion. There. Get a lot of other stuff right there. Um, there is. Okay, okay, let me check me out. Watch out. Container. Thank you. Ow, fire hurts. Uh, we will be taken out next. This is closer. Wizard might get taken out next. We'll be closer. Or battle with containers. Watch out. Container shooting at you, you don't focus that. Container, take out that container, because he was just close enough and too close for comfort with that. Um, yeah, alright. Here we go, jump into the shield. Can't get into there, of course. Challenge event, what is it? Increase crit damage. Alright, crit's my friend anyway, so. Yeah, yeah if I can hit it. Be fantastic. There we go. Confirm it, take out. Watch out for the container. Henchman, it's pretty easy to take out. Once you know what to do. Shoot soon, so watch it. Yep. Gotta watch out. Container. Go. Henchman 
is out. Container might be next. Fire lizard, corrosive barrel, hurts her, hit, whatever, take out fire coyote, not fire coyote, go fire lizard because it's dangerous, take out container next. Get you closer, I would get my helmet next. So, alright, that around. Alrighty, since that got done with. Well, I'm probably not bothered with these vaults because mostly they're either parkour or elite monsters that take a lot of damage. Alright, there's gonna be a desert worm, so watch out for that. Take out lightning swordsman because it's dangerous close in combat. I'm gonna make some damage from shields a lot more. There's some of these, so taking the shots. Coyote, Desert Worm, take him out. He's a problem. I still like that with Reckless. Now that Reckless with me, get down, get up. He will probably shoot me in a bit. Yep. Shoot him enough. Yep. Then knock him back. Take that damage. Fast enough to dodge it. Pick it up. Um, there. Jump, jump, jump. Another desert one? No. Doesn't look like it. Take out the fire lizard because it's close to. Villain and henchman. Take out the villain first because he's a shotgunner. Range is ridiculous with that. There's a lot too. Henchman's gonna charge. Start recharge. There's an arsonist, so take care of henchman maybe first and then shoot the arsonist. Push around, so I'm gonna shoot the arsonist. Four. Here we are. Do that. So I might be able to get a plus seven at least. If I'm lucky, I can get a plus ten by the boss. But how it's going right now? Maybe, maybe not. Missing. From its last. It's kind of. Uh, kind of last. He's just gonna let me shoot him because yeah, he's just gave up. All right, waves probably, maybe not. Take the coyote. Coyote's not being aggressive. Take the desert next. Cheeky about it. Villain. Take the coyote next is he melee. Villain will hurt me a lot. So a shot in a bit. But I'll take him out. There we go. Now there's a smith here. Watch out for arsonists. Desert man. Still with that. Shot. Tank that shot. It's more important. Shot the barrel by accident, but it worked out. Kick on coyote. Pyro. Gonna risk it. Grade seven. Focus on arsonist because bit. Since these are closer, focus on them. Can't, can't corner myself, so I gotta be careful. Fuck. That's reckless. Okay, to hit. Got shield recharge. Got itch. Nice. 
corner. Shot. Alrighty. Let's do that. Jump down. Should be enemies. Dark face. He's gonna be deadlier up close. Right left. Two lizards. Alright, deal with the dark face first because he's tanky and he's more deadly than that. Oh shit! <sighs> I got cornered. Yeah, I I think this is gonna be my last one, guys. Sorry. Sorry this one wasn't the one, but I got pretty far in my first run, so I can't be disappointed in that. Alrighty. Thanks for everyone to coming out. Um Thanks for coming out. <laughs> yeah, triple hit rip, yeah. I one time got hit by two of those. Yeah. <laughs> so alrighty, thanks for coming out guys. And there will be more chaos next time. <laughs>